We are at the Via della Rosa, and now we are heading to the sixth station. That's where Saint Veronica saw Jerusalem, uh, so so Jesus walking up, together with the help of uh, Saint Simon, and he was sweating. We're talking about April, and we are very close to it. We are in the Lent time, close to Easter. Usually it's hot. Today I must say that it's nice. It's not hot at all. And he was sweating. He was sweating because he didn't drink. They laughed at him, they beat him. He had to carry the cross. <sighs> and he knew that he was going to be crucified. Then she took her veil and cleaned his face. The face of Jesus was printed on it. If you don't believe me, because it's not in the Bible, go to the Vatican and once you hear the Pope will go out and uh, to the balcony and show you that veil. Then this is the sixth station. Belongs to the Malachite, Greek Catholic order. And although the building is near, they renovated it lately. The column that you see here, the pillar is old. And the name of Veronique is on it. You got it? You will recognize that station of the Via de la Rosa, the Way of the Cross, by the special round stones and the number six. And the figure that we got as a present from the Vatican a few months ago, or a year ago now. Six station. And now we're heading to the fifth one. That's where Saint Simon. Uh, was standing and helping Jesus to carry the cross. What, what Saint Simon did in the city? What Saint Simon did in the city? As a Jew, three times here you must visit the city of Jerusalem. We call it Shloshet Galim. Then to to find here a man from Libya of today, it wasn't a strange thing. Remember, Jesus came to Passover. He didn't come for Easter. Then, um, then in the then to find a man, a Jew from from Libya, it wasn't a strange thing. One thing that I must talk about: Saint Veronique. It's not mentioned in the Bible. Saint Simon. He was in the way of sin, but. He didn't have Jesus. He was forced to have Jesus to carry the cross because the Romans couldn't help him. They could actually force someone else to do that. We are going to reach that place and you will see that the structure is new. But there is one important stone that you must... Uh, I will touch for you. Uh, as you can see, the shops, most of them are empty. No tourists because of coronavirus, COVID-19. And until we will reach that stone, I want you to... Uh, I want you to, to know that I will be more than happy if you will subscribe my channel and be my tourist. Here it is. This is the fifth station and this is the stone that I will touch for you and uh, I hope that the energy that I will get there it is. That's according to the plan. According to the tradition. That's where Jesus was standing while he couldn't move. It felt easy. And then, Saint Simon, Saint Simon uh, helped him to carry the cross. Let me show how the fifth station looks like. Remember the round stones? Here it is. The number five. And here it is. Saint Simon and Jesus. This is one of the main streets of Jerusalem. Uh, still no tourists, and no tourists. A lot of good sweets, a lot of restaurants here. And we are reaching to the fourth and the third station. Both of those stations are not in the Bible. 
uh, in the third station we fell for the first time and we already talked about falling and the why it actually can happen and I didn't imagine it but usually I'm falling at least once a day in the, in the, the Via del Rosa and his mother at the fourth station his mother met him there I don't know why his mother actually, uh, why it's not in the Bible, maybe because, mainly, maybe because it's too obvious. If my mother will know that I will die today, believe me, she will be next to me. She will be as close as she can to me. Then to, to, uh, Jesus met his mother on the way for me, it's obvious. And as a Jewish mother, it's even 10 times more obvious. Uh, his mother will be as close as she can to him. Here in the third station, so, sorry about the noise, they're so small, but so noisy. Jesus fell for the first time. Those two stations belongs to Armenian Catholic Church. And if you will be here, don't ever miss visiting the Austrian hospice and climbing all the way up to the roof. The view is amazing. If you like it, subscribe my channel and send it to everyone. This is part of the Via Della Rosa in Easter 2021.